So it's been a couple of days since I worked on the file guard, but let me show you the file guard, how it ended up. I think it's pretty cool. So it looks like this. It's all buffed up and shiny with this. And how it works. So you unscrew these bolts. Sometimes I just need to remove one one bolt. So this is this moves up. And so you would put it like this. Put the second bolt in. Line up the line you made. And then tighten it, it moves. Ooh, no. And punch a hole on in ah. I punch a hole in my cardboard. Right here. Do you see it? Right here. Yeah, you can see it. So this would go there. You tighten it up. This enables me to file up to my line right here and stay perpendicular to this line right here on both sides and on the other side. So every everything will be square to each other and straight to each other. It will be much easier to make this, which will be my guard, and line it up with my line that I would have made, I will make. And this will make it much easier to work. And I could do the same thing with my scribe line which is here and with this well maybe uh, maybe not with this because it's much thicker it's one inch by one inch and it will enable me to screw them up and make it all beautiful straight make it all beautiful straight and much easier to work with when it will be time to fit up my guard and my pommel to the blade itself. This is what it's used for, to do something like this. Um, I could have bought one, but first it might go from maybe like around 50 bucks up to, I maybe, I think I saw a, $200 file guard, um, but the $200 file guards are much better made and they have carbide uh, strips on the faces. I would have liked to have carbide face um, file guide, but as you see, I am working in my garage and this is a hobby, not a job. If it, if it was a job, I... Maybe I... If it was a job, I... I don't know. I might have made one just for fun because this was really fun and... It's the first time that I really made something to specification uh, dimensions. Um, not just, well, the blade will be made to specification, but if it's a little shorter than I planned, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it was just fun. It was a nice project. And it was nice to bring you with me to show you a little behind the scene. Well, yeah, behind the scenes. And it's really fun. Uh, as you might have seen in on my 
Instagram, I posted a photo of my logo with colors, well, colors, red logo with gray background. Um, I may change it and add two drumsticks because I like airplanes as uh, some of you know, some of you, well, most of you know, and I, I like making stuff so the f the the anvil is quite nice but i really like drumming too so i think the drumstick is a missing piece of my logo so i think i'm gonna add them to my logo and it will be really complete so I just wanted to update you on the file guide. Um, well, funny thing, I have, for myself, I have a map torch and a propane torch, and my dad has a, uh, an older pro propane torch to uh, sweat together some uh, copper tubing for plumbing. And I don't know why, well, it's older, so the quality is maybe a little higher, but his propane torch puts out much more heat than mine. And it's quite funny. It makes a hell of, hell more noise, but it's really fun. I like, I like noise. I like, um, but I had my propane torch, my map torch, his propane torch, just to heat treat these two pieces. And these are really, really short and, well, they are quite, well, they're one quarter inch thick. So they need uh, more heat than just maybe uh, one a thick um, piece of 1080, 1084 steel. Yeah, 1084. Yeah, so imagine me just trying to heat treat this thing with three torches, it would just never work. I, so that's why I'm not making a real sword. That's why I'm calling it a decorative sword because it won't be hard and heat treated so i won't be able to well ah no i'm not gonna say it. um so that's why i'm making it decorative and it's gonna be a nice project but i don't know if i'm i will be able to make it before winter arrives and snow comes because when snow the snow arrives um all my garage little project will have to stop because here we we have three cars the one i used is for school my dad's car which he uses to go to the airport and my mom's car which everybody uses because it's nice um but we don't really have a huge driveway and we don't really want to put a car in the road because when they come and move the snow off of the road, we don't really want to get one of our cars stuck. Uh, so we put one, we put two of them under our shelter outside which is really fun because we don't have to remove the snow on top of our cars before going to work or school. Um, so that's fun, but we need to remove the snow on top of it. So that's less fun, but snow is snow. I like, I really like snow. It's my favorite season winter. Um, but we put, we put two cars outside and the third one comes in the garage and when there's a car in the garage I can I cannot move from this side to, of the garage to the other side here I can move 
but there's just no space. I maybe have this much, this much space between the car and my toolbox. And so it's really close and this will, all these little projects will have to stop for winter. So I'm gonna, on winter, this winter, I, you'll see, no, I think you'll see much more drumming stuff and well, drumming stuff. And, oh, and maybe skiing stuff, depending on how uh, this goes. So, uh, I'm I just cannot wait for winter. It's my favorite favorite season. Always has been. Um, in my family, we have a rule that well. For me, at least, is if you shit on one season, you cannot shit on another. Most people shit on winter because it's a hassle to uh, remove the snow on the cars and it's cold and blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to summer, some people just hate winter, summer. They say winter is too cold, summer is too hot, but... I don't really get it and for me I shit on summer because I don't I don't like being hot and sweaty well being sweaty I don't mind if I'm working being sweaty it's fine but if I'm in class and being sweaty it's not fun uh, so I shit on summer and when winter arrives I'm all happy and even if it's minus 25 and it's freezing, I won't, I won't shit on winter because I just like it so much. Just pick a, the favorite season that you like. For me, it's winter. Yeah, it always has been. As soon as the, the snow comes, I go outside and well, that's maybe because there's tractor in in my front yard as compared to summer which there's just cars and I, I don't know I really like tractors and everything I'm a little boy inside I don't know why it's it's fun so yeah <laughs> where, where were we uh, I don't know so yeah let's come back to this where why did I why 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 I could have made uh, all the sides shiny and beautiful but I just think that the oxide finish is much more beautiful the the shiny stuff is really nice but at some point uh, sometimes it's just too shiny so I like the forge finish it makes a little contrast on polished beautiful and oxide finish this one is a little lighter I don't know why really pleased of this um, I'm when I went to the store to buy screws I made sure to buy taller ones I don't know if this will make it in the video. I don't know. You'll see. Well, I'll see, I'll see before you. So you you hear you hear that? Uh, that means that the file is heat treated and really hard. If I would have dropped. If I drop this on the floor, it might break in half since it's really hard. So it can remove material from this, but you hear that? That high, high pitch means that it just slides over it and doesn't damage it. And that's why we heat treat stuff to make it much harder and much more resistant to everything well everything 
Not rust because yeah, rust. Corrosion. The bane of my existence. So I hope you like this new format I'm making. Um I had a little feedback from a couple of my friends and yeah. Really liked it. Hope you will. The funny thing is, as soon as I, I have seven subscribers, and when I put uh, some copyrighted music, I get copyright claimed, even though I have seven subscribers and around maybe max 15 views. I don't make any money from this. Why would you? <laughs> I know it's... If they allowed some people to do it, it would be like crap, but it's really funny. And even though they copyright uh, claim my videos, I don't really care. I don't make any money from this, so they won't make any. And I'm just like, I don't care. Uh, it's these. And even if I put the little music in the description below they still copyright claim me and I don't know what to do but for now I don't really care don't make any more money from this just for fun to show you how it's done so that's it for me now for now uh, I don't know what my next video will be uh, but hopefully you like this video I thought of making a video about this but maybe for an another woodwork project but this one I just used the table saw and just had fun because it's make, it makes sounds and yeah I'm a little kid as, as I said uh, so I don't know what my ne next video will be Maybe about the sword, maybe about drums, maybe about other stuff. I don't know. I'm new to all of this. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, so, see you another time. Goodbye. Have fun. Be safe. Goodbye.